Hi, I'm here with your first weekly Waimea update of 2009. We got a solid swell hit in the buoy right now. It won't be big enough to hold the eddy tomorrow, but it is showing that the storm track's looking a lot better than it has for the past month. In contemporary surfing today, I'd say the biggest debate is about paddle surfing versus toe surfing. But who better to ask than the best big wave surfers in the world? Here they are. Toe surfing and paddle surfing, they both have their own place, you know. Basically, you know, paddling is where it all originated and that's where it starts. I, I enjoy both. I think it's great to see both. I definitely prefer to paddle. Toe surfing is almost like it's a different sport, you know, you get to ride big waves, that's what you're both doing. But Paddling is more personal, one-on-one. -on -one. And, uh, you know, you, you're doing a partner thing with the toe-in. So you got, it, you got two different concepts going there, but still, you know, a lot going on. Towing can get in positions where you could never imagine getting into paddling and putting yourself in the pit or, you know, get barreled basically in the bowl of huge, humongous waves and it's unbelievable. But paddling is, um, is back to the basics, you know I mean? That's where it all began and I love the fact that you have to go out there and it's you against the wave, it's you against the ocean, you know what I mean? Those are the guys that I look at, you know, the guys that are paddling in the big waves as being the men, that's the real men, men from the boys, you know, a machine could get you into one and that's, that's fun, you get to ride different equipment, you get to ride different waves and go to places that are harder to get to, but, you know, paddling with these two things right here, that's where it's at. For me, the paddling is the most purest way of surfing the purest one person in sort of harmony with the ocean, working with the ocean, and it's really, really humbling to be in that position. There was kind of a fight between the two, you know, like, is it more soulful to paddle, is, is, is tow like selling out big waves or something, but, you know, there's just waves you can't catch paddling, and um, you need a tow board, and, you know, you can perform on a big wave and use the whole wave. They feel like completely different sports. I, I, I mean, I don't even know what to compare it to. It's like it's like surfing with a leash or without a leash, or jumping off a building on a wire or not on a wire, or you know, it's just it's the it's like riding a horse cross, cross country or catching a plane. <laughs> I don't know. The difference is mind-boggling. You know, I think there's a lot of ding dongs that do a lot of toe end surfing that that aren't really big wave riders. You know, these guys get on the skis and um, automatically become you know big wave surfers supposedly. But um, my take is, you know, unless you can paddle into them, you shouldn't be towing into them. Towing surfing should never be done unless you can go paddle into 20 foot waves. It takes way more balls to paddle into big waves than it does to tow into it. That's the bottom line. I, I, I definitely prefer to paddle, and it, that's what's cool about the eddy is on the day when the waves are super big, it's not going to be one of those days at Waimea when there's 100 guys out. It's just like you and like a few other guys who are out there with you, and it's just kind of trading big waves. It's great. Don't forget to sign up for free text message alerts at quicksilver.com. You will know when the eddy is on.